Perfect. Let's do the venturi tube exercise. We got this venturi tube diameter here is 100 millimeters. The diameter of the throat is 50 millimeters. Mm, we have the gauge pressure here measurement, and we know there's a volumetric flow rate, but we don't know it. And they tell you, of course, they give you the reading of change in pressure. Probably they read this here. And you know that you are operating with water, so you have the density. They tell you to calculate the velocity in the throat, the velocity of operation of the pipe, and the volumetric flow rate of the pipe. So we use the formula for the venturi tube, which hopefully you remember. This is the coefficient for venturi tube, the ratios of diameters, the drop in pressure, and the density. So remember the density, uh, the diameter ratio is one half or 0.5. CV use is going to be 0.98. So let me, we have 0.98. This and the change on pressure. We have everything, literally just plug in everything. Be sure that everything is in international units and you will get this is to the left and this square root is to the right. So you got about 10.59 meters per second in that little hole. Okay, so we already answered question number A, but we are also required to calculate velocity on the normal operation. Remember of continuity, we can use this for pipes, relate this with diameters. We know this is one half, we need to power it to the second power, and the velocity, we know it is 10.59. I got 2.65 meters per second, which is a very normal velocity of operation, so I will think this is correct. So once again, this here is 2.6 meters per second. In the throat, we have almost 10 meters per second. So, yeah, you can see just decreasing by half, you increase by 4 the velocity. They ask you also to calculate the volumetric flow rate, so you can calculate it either in the throat or in the normal pipe. Just be sure to use the velocity of the throat and the area of the throat, or the velocity of the pipe and the area of the pipe. So I actually did the one on the pipe, because I think it's more useful. You're going to, let's say, at least know the velocity and the area of the pipe. So. The velocity is 2.65, which I just calculated, pi divided by 4, and this 100 times 10 to the minus 3. Don't forget to square it. You got this volumetric flow rate, which is, okay, 0 0.0207 cubic meters per second. This is an easy example. If you want more complex problems on the Venturi tube, please go to courses. In this section of momentum transfer operations, you're going to find the AFD course, which is Applied Fluid Dynamics. Go to solve the problems, quizzes, slideshows, and many much more information. You can find it there. This was a free preview. If you want to get full access, go to my Incompressible Flow course. The link is in the description of the video. You will get all access. Not only that, you get a very straightforward uh, user-friendly interface, so for instance you were analyzing or studying pumps, you have it here, the pump block, and then you have the sections, if you are for example studying the types of pumps, you can go here, and you have all the classes right here. Not to mention that you also have introduction and conclusion of every one of these. So for instance if you were studying positive displacement pumps, the video is right here. If you were studying positive displacement pumps in rotatory and reciprocal are also included here. Centrifugal pumps, which is a very important topic in this course, you have it right here.